Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Eastern Kentucky University's Spring 2013 Commencement Exercises. This morning we honor candidates in the Colleges of Health Sciences and Justice and Safety. Please rise for the presentation of the national colors and remain standing and join Dr. Joyce Wolf, accompanied by Dr. Richard Crosby in the singing of our national anthem. Please be seated. The university singers under the direction of Dr. Richard Waters will now perform My Old Kentucky Home.
Well, good morning. I'm Craig Turner, Chair of the Eastern Kentucky University Board of Regents. Graduates, there are many exciting and pivotal milestones in your life. I will believe that you will find your college graduation to be one of the most important. Your successful completion of a college degree exemplifies a dedication and commitment to continued learning and a desire to exceed in your chosen field. It provides the foundation of a uh, lifetime of achievement and success. As a fellow EKU graduate, May I join your friends and your family to say how very proud we are of you, of what you have already accomplished, and you have a very bright future ahead. Today, I have the privilege to honor President Charles Douglas Whitlock. His is the storybook ending to the great American dream. A hometown boy studies hard, works tirelessly, and climbs the ladder of success over 40 years, ultimately becoming the president of his beloved university. Doug attended elementary and high school in Richmond. He proudly came to Eastern. He served as the editor of the campus newspaper and earned his undergraduate and master degrees in 1965 and 1966. He later added his doctoral degree from the University of Kentucky. He joined Eastern in 1968 as the Director of Publications and subsequently worked in several administrative teaching and leadership roles. Throughout a very distinguished career that spanned six decades, he had the privilege of serving five of the other ten presidents of this great university. Then in 2007, Doug was inducted as the university's 11th president. Under his leadership as president, numerous honors came to the university. These include a ranking by Forbes magazine among the top 10% of America's best colleges for the past five years, two national number one rankings in the best for vets survey by Military Times, Edge magazine, and many more honors. Also during Doug's career, the campus has added a science building, the Center for the Arts, the Knoll Studio for Academic Creativity, the Center for Renewable and Alternative Fuel Technologies, and the first three doctoral degree programs in the university's history. Just last week, in honor of his commitment to student success, the Board of Regents approved naming the Student Success Building the Charles Douglas Whitlock Building a richly deserved tribute. So on behalf of Eastern Kentucky University Board of Regents, the faculty and staff, it is truly my privilege and honor to bestow upon Charles Douglas Whitlock the title of President Emeritus of Eastern Kentucky University, and I'm pleased to present this frame resolution that documents just some of the reasons why he has earned this distinction. We thank you for all you've done. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you, Mr. Turner. I truly appreciate your kind words and the actions of the board. Uh, the last six years have been very professionally and personally fulfilling. Parents, families, and friends, members of the Board of Regents, distinguished guests, faculty, and staff, thank you for joining us today to celebrate with our spring graduates this milestone in their lives. In the three ceremonies combined today, we will formally confer 1,806 bachelor's degrees, 479 master's degrees, 106 associate degrees, 10 specialist degrees, and 6 doctoral degrees for a total of 2,407.
This morning's graduates include many who have achieved academic distinction. We're proud of all of those who are graduating with honors, but I will recognize at this time three groups in particular. Would all those who are graduating this morning from our nationally prominent honors program as honors scholars please stand and be recognized. Would, would all of those who are graduating summa cum laude with a 3.9 GPA or higher please stand that we might honor you. And now, would those graduates who are members of EKU's highest multidisciplinary honor society, Phi Kappa Phi, also stand? Again, congratulations not only to those three groups, but to all those who are graduating with honors this morning. Throughout her 107-year history, Eastern Kentucky University has been known as a school of opportunity, and we have always been proud of that distinction. I'm pleased to acknowledge this morning the many first-generation graduates who are earning a degree. This means that neither their parents nor anyone in an earlier generation was a college graduate. Will all the candidates for degrees who are the first generation in their families to earn a college diploma, please stand. Thank you. Commencement is also a time we recognize the many others who have contributed to the success of these candidates with their resources, encouragement, occasional tough love, tender love, and understanding. I will ask the following to stand as presented and to remain standing though, so that we might welcome and honor you as a group. Will the parents of the candidates for graduation please stand? Will the spouses of the candidates please stand? Will the grandparents of the candidates please stand. And now will the children and other family members of the candidates please stand. And will the faculty and staff who have instructed and served these candidates please stand. Degree candidates, please join me in showing your appreciation for these very important people in your lives with a generous round of applause. I'm pleased to recognize some special individuals here on the platform, members of the Board of Regents who have joined us this morning. Will each Regent please stand when presented and remain standing? Craig Turner, Chair of the Board from Lexington. Ernie House, Vice Chair of the Board from London. Gary Abney from Richmond. Faculty Regent Dr. Amy Thiem from Berea. Staff Regent and Secretary of the Board Stephen Fulkerson from Richmond. And Student Regent Madeline Street from Richmond, who I might add is graduating in our afternoon ceremony. Please join me in greeting these members of our Board of Regents and to, in expressing to them our appreciation for their dedicated service. One of the hallmarks of Eastern Kentucky University is our commitment to teaching excellence. We are indeed blessed with many outstanding faculty members, talented educators who are dedicated to the success of our students. We're seeing the fruits of their efforts here today. The EKU Foundation Professorship is the highest university award an Eastern faculty member can receive. An EKU Foundation professor is recognized as having achieved a truly outstanding record of performance in the three primary roles of a faculty member. 
teaching, service, and scholarship. Our EKU Foundation professor for 2013-15, Dr. Alan D. Engel, is a professor in the Department of Management, Marketing, and International Business. He has succeeded in all of those roles. Dr. Engel? As you, know, as you may know, almost 30% of our graduates are transfer students, and many come to us from Kentucky's excellent system of community and technical colleges. We are continually partnering with these fine institutions to meet the educational needs of Kentuckians, and we thank them for sending us such outstanding students. Our graduates this morning have come to us from more than 10 different community and technical colleges. We're honored any time that representatives from our partner institutions can join us. I'd like to recognize at this time Deronda Mobellini, representing Hazard Community and Technical College, and Dr. Larry Kelly, representing Elizabethtown Community and Technical College. Thank you very much. Dr. Claire Good, our Interim Vice President for Student Affairs, will now introduce our student speaker. Each semester, a member of the graduated class is selected for the honor of presenting a student commencement address. This morning, that honor belongs to Kayla Sue Lee of Frankfurt, who's graduating magna cum laude with a bachelor's degree in occupational sciences. Sharing in Kayla's special day today are her husband, Matthew Lee, her parents, Larry and Vicki Smith, her maternal grandmother, Betty Sue Russell, and her paternal grandparents, Connie and Doug Riddell, among others. I know they are proud of Kayla, as are we. It is my pleasure and privilege now to introduce the student speaker for this morning's commencement program, Kayla Sue Lee. Good morning, graduates, President Whitlock, members of the Board of Regents, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, family and friends. It's actually really great to be surrounded by thousands of people who are all here, here for the same reason, my graduation. No, really, thank you for coming. My mom only ordered 25 invitations, so this is a pretty good turnout. For those of you who may not know me, I am by no means a serious person. And for those in the room who do know me, well, I'm sorry. But in all seriousness, we are here for a monumental occasion, a milestone in our lives that comes as a result of great sacrifice of time and effort. Today's celebration marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. Now over the past four years at EKU, I have observed several traditions, issues, and experiences that I'm sure many of my fellow graduates have had as well. I have compiled these into a list that I have titled, You Might Be a Colonel. So here it goes. You might be a colonel if you have ever attended an event just for the free t-shirt. You might be a colonel if you've ever spent 30 minutes looking for a parking space for a 50-minute class. You might be a colonel if you've picked up the Eastern Progress with the sole intent to see if you know anyone in the police beat. <laughs> you might be a colonel if you've paid 110 for a book and got back 110 when you returned it. That is $1.10. You might be a colonel if you've ever spent your Thursday nights at bingo. You might be a colonel if you've ever just used a meal swipe for a delicious pal cookie or seven. You might be a colonel if you used all your flex dollars on nachos and hot dogs for your friends at an athletic event. And keeping with the theme of the last two, you might be a colonel if you have ever driven yourself to the fitness center from your dorm. 
You might be a colonel if you've ever taken free popcorn from a guru. You might be a colonel if you've ever complained about the undeadness of dead week. You might be a colonel if you've ever been pestered by a frat guy on Powell Corner begging you for your pocket change. You might be a colonel if you've ever taken a stroll past the naked man and looked under his drape just to see what's there. Does this poor guy even have a name? You might be a colonel if you've ever spent an entire afternoon in the ravine studying or napping. You might be a colonel if you've ever heard the phrase, EKU will develop informed, critical, and creative thinkers who communicate effectively. You might be a colonel if you are graduating from one of the top educational programs in the country. You might be a colonel if you have a professor's number in your phone or on a first name basis with them. The faculty and staff here at EKU truly care about each of their students. And finally, you might be a colonel if you've ever heard or if you represent the term eternal colonel. But we all really know that no one exemplifies that title more than President Whitlock, who has been a part of this campus community for more than four decades. However, in reality, we're all eternal colonels, as we will be connected to this university for the rest of our lives. The knowledge, the memories, the friendships, and the experiences we have shared while students at EKU will forever be imprinted in our hearts and minds. Now, no commencement speech would be complete without a few thank yous. Thank you to my husband, Matt, for putting up with my temper tantrums and tears for the past four years. Thank you to my family for shaping, encouraging, and pushing me to be the young woman I am today. And last, but certainly not least, thank you to my classmates who have challenged, supported, and inspired me. Thank you for accepting me for who I am and dealing with my sarcasm and jokes. You each hold a very special place in my heart, and I am forever blessed to have met you. The education that we have received during our years at EKU has prepared each of us to be diligent, creative, innovative, and successful. We have the tools, and now is the time to use them. So I challenge you, class of 2013, to find your passion, reach your goals, and never settle for second best. Congratulations, graduates. We did it. Thank you, Kayla. I have the distinct privilege of recognizing the recipient of the university's Outstanding Senior Award for 2013. Each academic college, the Office of Student Affairs, and the International Alumni Association nominate individuals for this prestigious award. The award is based on scholarship, leadership, and service to both campus and community. Each recipient receives a well-deserved plaque and a $1,000 stipend. We were richly blessed this year with some outstanding candidates but none more richly deserving than Christina Hammond of Frankfurt, who has clearly excelled in the areas of scholarship, service, and leadership. She will be formally recognized at our 730 ceremony today. Our keynote speaker this morning grew up in rural Casey County and went on to become one of the most important figures of his generation in Kentucky higher education. Before completely retiring a year ago, Dr. Charles Weathington Jr. devoted 47 years to bettering the lives of Kentuckians as a college professor, an administrator, and ultimately as the highly successful president of the University of Kentucky. This 1956 graduate of Eastern Kentucky State College, who went on to learn two more degrees from the University of Kentucky, claims a rare distinction. He is a member of both the EKU Hall of Distinguished Alumni and the UK Hall of Distinguished Alumni. And for good reason, Dr. Weathington began his career as a faculty member at UK in 1965 
and two years later was named the chief administrator at Maysville Community College. He returned to Lexington in 1971 as assistant vice president and became vice president of the community college system in 1981. A year later, he was named chancellor of the UK community college system and in 1987 was given university-wide responsibilities for public and governmental relations. His tenure as UK president was from 1990 until 2001 and was marked by record numbers of national achievement and merit scholars, an increase in the number of programs ranked in the nation's top 50, a new central library, an increase in research, and the commencement and completion of 41 building projects and a an dramatic increase in the school's endowment. We are delighted and honored that Dr. Weathington could join us today to share this time with our graduates and that his wife Judy, who's seated with my wife Joanne, could join us. It gives me great pleasure now to present Dr. Charles Weathington, Jr. for the honorary degree Doctor of Laws. Dr. Weathington and Provost Vice, would you please join me? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to introduce Dr. Charles Weathington, Jr., a distinguished son of Kentucky who has dedicated his life to the education of the Commonwealth citizens, an accomplished college administrator who raised his institution to greater heights of excellence, and one whom Eastern Kentucky University is proud to claim as one of her own and honor here today. Please give a warm back home welcome to Dr. Charles Weathington. President Whitlock, members of the board, other members of the platform party, faculty and staff of Eastern Kentucky University, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the graduating class. To you graduates, thank you for inviting me to address you on such an important day. Thank you, President Whitlock and members of the board for the honor you've bestowed on me today. I'm truly grateful. It's certainly a pleasure for me to be a degree recipient along with this graduating class. And if I could take just a moment to say to you on behalf of President Whitlock, you've heard what President Whitlock has meant to this institution for the past more than 40 years. I can tell you he's been a tremendous asset to this university. I was delighted some six years ago to see that this Board of Regents offered to make Doug Whitlock president of Eastern Kentucky University. And I'm delighted at the progress that I've seen Eastern make in the last six years under his leadership. I want to congratulate Doug Whitlock for what he's done and wish him well as he moves on past this time from the presidency of Eastern Kentucky University. Congratulations, Doug Whitlock. <laughs> this is certainly a special day. It's the day when this university and its larger circle of friends join together to praise the achievements of those who have been inspired, loved, and supported by mother and father, sister and brother, husband and wife, by counselor, friend, and teacher. This is the day of our graduates, those who have completed a degree program, but more importantly, those who have learned, become more knowledgeable, and enlightened 
as only they can truly judge. Through this commen commencement experience, the tradition that has been established by all who preceded us is brought here in this place along with the anticipation of future accomplishments of those who come after us. Both officially and personally, I rejoice with you in the art of graduating. Ours is one of the hundreds of colleges and universities across the nation, but ours is Eastern Kentucky University, a very special institution and a very special state. We, you and I, are here for that moment of celebration when the past happily meets the future. I am mindful of the long past of this institution and am hopeful of its long future. On a personal note, I and my family have been fortunate to have been involved with Eastern Kentucky University for many years. 57 years ago this month, in 1956, I received a bachelor's degree from Eastern having majored in English and history. And yes, graduates, there was an Eastern that long ago. At one time or another, my mother, my father, one sister, one brother, my mother-in-law, and my daughter-in-law have all attended this fine university. In remembering my graduation day, I am mindful that you graduates will remember this day, but will remember very little of what was said by the commencement speaker. As a result, I will be mercifully short. From its very beginning and continuing today, this institution has been blessed with an extremely dedicated faculty and staff whose sole purpose was to provide the exceptional opportunity for students like yourselves. I commend this university, Dr. Doug Whitlock, its president, and its faculty and staff for this exceptional dedication to students that has helped you graduates achieve what you have come here to celebrate. We're all a part of public higher education. This nation owes much of its success to the fact that we have dedicated ourselves to educational opportunity for all. We have always understood that low-cost public higher education, available to all who benefit, is critical to the growth and development of this country. Affordable colleges and universities within reach of virtually all of our citizens are absolutely essential if we are to continue to provide that equal opportunity to upward mobility for our citizens. You graduates of Eastern have benefited from that opportunity. I want you to know how fortunate you are to have been a part of this university. You graduates have been prepared well by Eastern Kentucky University, but with that preparation come certain challenges. Let me outline some of those challenges that I see for you. I urge you to continue to grow in knowledge and understanding. It is important that you continue to build upon what you have learned here. It can be said that commencement is the time when college students who, le who learned all the answers discover that there are, there are a new set of questions. More than ever before, the world we live in will require critical thinkers to handle an ever-changing set of questions. We need individuals who can analyze, evaluate, and interpret information quickly and correctly. We need individuals who are flexible and who can react instantly to a changing set of circumstances. We need individuals who listen and can communicate effectively and efficiently. I encourage you to continue to ask questions. Systematic inquiry is a practical means of building worthwhile relationships, demanding common sense, and utilizing uncommon abilities. Systematic inquiry means having the spirit to adventure, the wit to question, and the wisdom to accept and to use knowledge to its fullest. We trust that Eastern Kentucky University has given you a good base to do these things, but to do this successfully will require continued learning and interaction. Take the time to explore new technology, new ideas, new ways of doing things. After today, after you go straight home and celebrate, I would urge you to stay involved. Be involved in the cultural and civic life of your community, wherever you choose to live. You have the responsibility to share your gifts and talents, those gifts you have inherited as well as those learned talents. And you have the responsibility to, to, to yourself to continue to strive to be the best you can be. Some of you will go on to graduate programs in colleges and universities, most of you into the workforce. No matter where you go, continue your education.
Keep your eyes open to the world around you and always see in others what they are capable of being and becoming. You need to inspire others because of what you have done. Show others what can be achieved from a good education. Show them that they can do it if you could do it. Be a good example. Bring somebody else along with you. Finally, I would encourage you to stay in touch with your university. Eastern hopes to be able to rely on your support and good judgment as the university moves through the 21st century. The university will require much help and foresight as it strives to serve the people of our commonwealth and beyond. We hold in trust this commitment to higher education as those who keep the faith that you have placed in this university. But we do so above all as those to whom you have entrusted the intellectual welfare of your loved ones, the students we teach, the graduates we honor today. And I ask you to remember with us that the one transformational agent that we have in American society is higher education. And public higher education has the greatest responsibility, and it deserves your support. We cannot lose sight of this responsibility, especially during this time of financial difficulty in this country. We must be vigilant and ensure that we, are, that we do not allow public higher education to be priced so high that it is perceived to be out of reach of many of our citizens. Now, more than ever, perhaps, the door of opportunity provided by public higher education must be kept wide open for this country and its citizens to continue to prosper. Congratulations again to you graduates. I know that all of you who are not graduating today join with me in an expression of appreciation to all the graduates in this cheerful audience. It's an honor and a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, for me to have been invited here today and to be honored by Eastern Kentucky University. I congratulate the graduates. I wish you well. I'm delighted that you have chosen to be a part of the life of Eastern Kentucky University. Thank you, Dr. Wethington. Our provost, Dr. Jana Weiss, will now proceed with the formal conferring of degrees. President Whitlock, the deans of the colleges will join me in presenting the candidates for the graduate and undergraduate degrees. Dean Jerry Pogocznik will present candidates for master's degrees from the Colleges of Health Sciences and Justice and Safety. Will the candidates for the following degrees please stand and remain standing? Master of Public Health, Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Science, and Doctor of Nursing Practice. President Whitlock, these candidates have met all the requirements for the degrees and have been approved by the faculty. I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. Dean Deborah Whitehouse will present candidates from the College of Health Sciences. Will the candidates for the degrees in the College of Health Sciences please stand and remain standing? President Whitlock, these candidates have met all the requirements for their degrees and have been approved by the faculty. I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. <laughs> Dean Alan Ault will present candidates from the College of Justice and Safety. President Whitlock. Will the candidates for degrees in the College of Justice and Safety please stand and remain standing. <laughs> President Whitlock, these candidates have met all the requirements for the degrees and have been approved by the faculty. I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees.
President Whitlock, these candidates have met all of the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty. The deans and I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. Candidates, the long anticipated hour has come. You are here with family and loved ones looking on. The faculty and officers of the university are gathered in witness and testimony to your conduct and purpose. Therefore, by virtue of the authority granted me by the Board of Regents of Eastern Kentucky University and with the faculty's recommendation, it is now my pleasure to confer upon each of you the appropriate degree, the requirements of which you have fulfilled, and do hereby vest each of you with the rights and privileges, privileges pertaining to that degree, your diploma confirmed and acknowledged by the great seal of the university. Please be seated. Will the honorary faculty advisors please escort the degree candidates to the stage. Mr. Rich Middleton will now read the names of the graduates. This is both a solemn and joyous occasion. As names are called, I ask each of you to show the decorum the dignity of this occasion warrants. In this way, each graduate can receive the recognition he or she deserves. Thank you very much. College of Health Sciences, Doctor of Nursing Practice, Sharon A. Edwards. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Melanie Adams Johnson. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Gina L. Perdue. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Kaylin Morgan Wattenbarger. Master of Public Health, Ronald Allen Woolley. <laughs> Christy Mullins Sloan. Peter Sigalay. Yeah, Peter. Ashley Nicole Scott. Jordan Christine Robinson, Tasha L. Leonard, Jennifer Don Laswell, Dustin Knight, Nicole L. Kennedy, Mary W. Jones, Jessica K. Isaac, Jimmy Lane Ham, Emma Nicole Glaney, Myron Dwitt Douglas, 
Blake Austin Dobbs. Master of Science, Jessica Lynn Combs. Jennifer L. Robinson Skaggs. Mary Leanne Taylor. Illy Gillian Pace. Allison Marie Lane. Master of Science in Nursing. Donita Lynn Cantrell. Jennifer Pierce Griffin. Tammy Lynn Mead. Amy Elizabeth Osborne. Sarah Masters. Jared Allen Norvell. Jun Matsuno. Ross Thomas Lingenfelder. Simon D. Holzapfel. Clay A. Sanders. Fatai Hala Api Api. Candace Young. Alicia Rose Gazdael. Stefan Burton. Master of Science, Chante Elise Bowman. College of Justice and Safety, Elizabeth Ann Adams. Jedediah Edward Grant Shepherd. Holly Harker Buckenroth. Deborah Ann Glenn. Donald Franks Gagas. Clyde D. Fletcher, Matthew J. Flanagan, Jordan Cheshire Dalrymple, Scott Nelson Bredhauer, Conrad Morgan Lanham, Paulina Karpova, Jonathan A. Felden, Craig R. Jankowski, Cassandra Faye Tate, Alyssa N. Lawrence, Angie L. Wheaton, Ethan Maxwell Higgins, Timothy Patrick Nepp Jr. John Garton. Danny Bryant Gaddy. Stanley P. Cooper. Emily E. Condor. K. Nicole Pickett. Eric Gregory Quayle. Madeline Marie Potter. Roger Lee Osborne. Melanie R. Middleton. Allison H. King. Keith S. Joy. Heather Nicole Hyatt. Bachelor of Arts, College of Health Sciences, Andrew Wesley Hogg, summa cum laude. Desmond Scott Francis. Amber Michelle Truluck. 
Hannah Renee Brewer. David Lynn Tackett. Brittany Montgomery. Rebecca Dunn Caswell. Delia Lee Price. Monica Renee Boyd. Sylvia A. Hill. Daria Noel Bauer. Jennifer Dawn Rose. Cody Ryan Wilson. Candace Chanel Morrison. Lindsay K. Zahn. Sean Johnson. Katherine Bailey Gross, magna cum laude. Madison J. Mombolini. Stephen Tyler Gardner. Darlene Nicole Newsom Holberg. Angela Faye Shaw. Tonisha Nokamas Palmer. Dana Nicole Cox. Ashley Renee Napier. Dean Romero. Jeremiah D. Williams. Angelo Villarreal. Christian Gabriel Molina. Jordan Ryan Turner. Christian Lauren Gillespie, cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Andrew Mason Greider. Andrew Jeffrey Curtis Hatton. Stephen Glenn Smith, Jr. Philip Kurt Walker. Jacob A. Baker, cum laude. Kyle Ketham, Ketham Markham, summa cum laude. Eric R. Davidson. Tiffany Latasha Marie Cromer, cum laude. Jason Scott Pack, magna cum laude. Joshua Robert Hartledge, magna cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Click. Kayla L. Wood. Sherry Denise Parson. Whitney Brooks Graves. Whitney Page Luther. Samantha Joe Bruner. Sarah J. Pruitt. Deborah Gail Pirata. Stephanie R. Strange. Olesia Korchuk. Nadide Gutsum Chomas. Christopher James Troutman. Timothy Rashad Berkemeyer. Zachary Daniel Brown. Adam Michael Rush.
Kelsey Nicole Mahiron. Catherine Hope Albrecht, summa cum laude. Brooke Aaron Sneed, cum laude. Kelly Jo Stapp, cum laude. Stephanie Nicole Quinn. Lindsay Marie Wilholt, summa cum laude. Anne Marie Dostart, cum laude. Kayla Marie Cornwell, magna cum laude. Tony Marie Mahalski. Kelly Lee Price, summa cum laude. Krista Ann Olson. Allison Kirby Maggard, summa cum laude. Ashley Leanne Abrams, cum laude. Bridget B. Kunkel, summa cum laude. Lauren Michelle Roberts. Megan McKenzie Pruitt. Samantha Joe Krager. Mackenzie Dawn Katzman, cum laude. Logan Parker Robinson, magna cum laude. Spencer Ross Mullins, magna cum laude. Amy Michelle McGarry. Ashley Nicole Richmond. Savannah Florine Griffith. Laura Elizabeth Ross. Ashton Marie Rappelge. Victor Kimboy. Marie Florencia Sebastiani, cum laude. Cassandra Marie Lavender. Sydney L. Peterson, summa cum laude. Ariel M. Hopkins, cum laude. Brittany Ann Soltris, magna cum laude. Alexa Brooke Weigel, summa cum laude. Jamie Michelle Mills. Kimberly Ann Collins. Caitlin Renee from Meyer, cum laude. Erica Lynn King, cum laude. Kayla Marie Houston, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Ann Markham. Lisa Ann Grossman, summa cum laude. Courtney Jerry Jones, cum laude. Kayla Sue Lee, magna cum laude. Megan Ann Winter. Andrew William Brubaker, cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Ashworth. Thomas E. Stevens. Carrie Ann Richardson. Ethan Micah Wickline. Christina Susan Prescatore. Ashley Marie Chrisman. Jennifer R. Brown, summa cum laude. Eden Ernestine Fisher. Jessica Lindsay Miller. Justin Dean Kurtz, magna cum laude. James Scott Holtzclaw. Travis Martin Raw. 
Lindsey K. Perry. Elizabeth Ann Hamilrath. Cody Blair Vincent. Megan Nadine Hambrick. Corinne Marie Peepmeyer. Whitney Alexandra Brockman. Andrea Elizabeth Danley, cum laude. Brittany Thay Chase Taylor, summa cum laude. Carmen Alexandra Moore. Donna Marie Mosley, magna cum laude. Lindsay Rochelle Damron. Zachary Aaron Flynn. Christina Marie Pelfrey, summa cum laude. Nicole Paige Hubbard. Jennifer Dean Drake. Sophia A. Franzen. Kara Ray Cobb. Samantha L. Daniels. Tyler Keith Horn, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Suzanne Peters. Benjamin Spencer Myers, cum laude. Justin David Frizzell. William Chadrick Wayne Witzel. Adam Corey Diamond, summa cum laude. Kayla Renee Goyette. Hannah M. Wagner, magna cum laude. Candace Lynn Mosby. George Cody Thompson, magna cum laude. Drew Daniel Kramer. Eric Grant Soyster. Nathan Ryan Renfro. Kevin Lee Abbott. Sydney Joe Allen. David Lee Johnson. Edgar Dale Barnett II. Anthony Bradley Reed. Lindsay McKay Addison. Cize Senija. Brooklyn Fox. Zachary Edward Charles Schote. Ethan Michael Philolot. Brett Neil Arnett. Lauren Elizabeth Kuntz, cum laude. Brittany Evans. Jonna Kali Edrington. Brianna Carol Stinson. Sarah Morgan Jacoby. Ashley C. Buck. Kelsey Ray Colwell. Aaron DeWitt Drury. Cynthia Lauren Johnson. Elizabeth Porter Russell. Sarah Lynn Poole. Catherine S. Hahn, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Anna Huff. Tasha Leanne Stanfield, cum laude. Hey, 
Jamie in Lundbad, magna cum laude. James Kevin Bruce the second. Margaret Grace Doty, cum laude. Gregory Earl Adams. Christopher P. Heil. Lorraine Darcel Allen. Mariah Danielle Irvin. Martez Lamont Reed. Demetria Rochelle Nichols. Emily Michelle Pontrich, cum laude. Rachel Janelle Kirkpatrick, cuma, summa cum laude. Sharman Marie Young, cum laude. Carlina Elizabeth Hale. Shun Wei Lu. Haley Elizabeth Green, cum laude. De'Aaron Lamar McCann. Jennifer Nicole Blair, magna cum laude. Hensley Larray Rector, cum laude. Andrea Michelle Bringer. Samantha Siegler Snyder. Elizabeth Marie Breadwell. Ashley Louise Kramer. Alicia Naomi McKiernan. Leslie Jeanette Walter. Lauren Dion Wagers. Candace Larray Jarvis, cum laude. Tara Elizabeth Froelich, cum laude. Cum laude, excuse me. Norma Kathleen Prophet. Kendra Lee Taylor. Marcy Shawnee Cornett. Frederick Nathan Parks. David Israel. Willie Cruz. Misty Hess. Stephanie Kendra Danielle Smith. Emily Masters Tingle. Corina Michelle Singleton. Amanda Denise Webb. Ralph William McDonny III. Bethany Christine Miller. Deborah Hope Farmer. Cassie Elizabeth Carr. Danielle Ashley Blair. Melissa Renee Warren, cum laude. Michael Nodine. Dewan Marquise Harris. Zachary Marcus McGuire. Amanda S. Caldwell. Stevie Lane McMain. Megan Michelle Horn. Katie Hannah Ebersole. Ashley Nicole Kilburn. Tiffany Roundtree, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Casey Latricia Brooks. 
Holly Marie Branham. Olivia Kaylin Bach. Hannah Christine Peterson, cum laude. Ashley Nicole Hild. Kayla Elizabeth Lewis. Holly Ann Gardner, cum laude. Jessica Marie Kingsley. Lindsay Ray Crum. Courtney Amanda Minus. Stephanie Lauren Wicker. Brianna Christine Lochnian. Shane David Sloan, magna cum laude. Kayla P. Estep. Chelsea Marie Witt, summa cum laude. Nikki Cherie Robinette. Nancy Ann Skinner. Hannah Ellen Gore, cum laude. Rachel Lane Roser, cum laude. Stephanie Denise Burke. Binti Kunwar Chetri. Sabita Tapa. Kimberly G. Peterson. Carrie Renee Feltz, magna cum laude. Jennifer Zetter. Stephanie Michelle Langfield. Lee Carol Thompson. Jennifer Darby. Angeline Sylvester. Evelyn Marie Sprague. Lauren E. Jacob, cum laude. Courtney A. Walters, cum laude. Janice Lovett King. Nariana Gabrielle Da Silva. Aubrey Ann Boyers. Shelley Kleins. Kelly Ann Caudill. Gorob Sharma Lamsal. Elizabeth Ice, cum laude. Melissa Ann Taylor. Justin Renee Powell, cum laude. Ivy Lachey Smith Mills. Christy H. Gregory, cum laude. Associate of Science in Nursing, Marcy Lynn Gay. <laughs> Natasha Page Wiles. Mary Christy Crace. Jamie Lynn Webb. Donita Coffey. Patricia Nicole Clark. David Cody Duggar. Wendy Long. Jennifer Lee Justice. Jasmine Renee Bailey. Lauren Ashley Bowling. Claire Victoria Keys. Shanna Louise Kinser, 
Alexandra Dawn Yont. Charlotte Marie Shelton. Sarah Elizabeth Elliott. Jesslyn Nicole Minga. Amber Nicole Marlowe. Chastity Ann Freith. Elizabeth Ann Boggs. Christopher Keith Lingar. Jeannie E. Crabtree. Hope Nicole Johnson. Matthew Clark. Sherry Nicole Schmidt. Laura Ann Smith. Brandy Michelle Browning. Emily Don Weddle. Alisa Don Sandusky. Allison Meredith Hopkins. Associate of General Studies, Catherine Beth Holman Samuel. Cassandra Foscardo. Tiffany Marie McCain. Associate of Applied Science, Rebecca Jane Burns. Rosis Sombe. Vanessa McGowan. Joanne Vanson. Laura Van Hoos. Stacy Ayers. Alexandra Allison. Nicholas Bolduck, summa cum laude. Dana Brown. Stephen Carroll. Adam Coombs. Jacob Critchley. Daniel, or excuse me, yeah, Daniel Dixon. Brandon Diles. Carrie Arps. Devin Danielle Belt. James Bowles. Charles Barris. David Boyd. Stevie Combs. Daniel Bailey. Jacob Agee. Caleb Duncan. Roger Adair. College of Justice and Safety, Bachelor of Arts. Janie Howard. Stephanie Whitaker. Ethan Benz. Michael Pack. Joseph Davis. Stephanie Cooper. Joshua Chambers. Kevin Green. Kelsey Brewer, cum laude. Cody Sparks, cum laude. Adam Wren. Corey Lane, cum laude. Kiker Moses. 
Nicholas Ullery. Willard Orr. Lindsey Kuhn. Derek Dillman. Robert Tudor, cum laude. Matthew Courtney. Kevin Doyle, magna cum laude. Kendra Durham. Heather Draper. Brandy Dubraski. Brian Edgar. Trevor Elmore, cum laude. Boyce England. Paula Fields. Derek Fossen, Theodore Fritz, Justin Garrett, Dustin Giandi, Crystal Giles, Jessica Gillis, Aaron Goforth, Caitlin Griffith, magna cum laude. Adam Griggs. Travis Hollowell. Matthew Hastings. Robert Hardman. Corey Hutchison. Jordan Henson, summa cum laude. Elliot Hicks, cum laude. Michael Heath, Patrick Henson, Jordan Hoskins, Benjamin Kennedy, Ethan Jennings, James Jones II, Caitlin Cleaver, cum laude, Justin La Rosa, Eric Curran, David Petro, Eric Ham, magna cum laude, Brandon Hayes, Brian Hearn, Logan Thrash, Daniel Kirstein. Matthew Ledford, Nicholas Fazio, magna cum laude, Daniel Potts, John Swiger, Leeton Hudson, cum laude, Thomas Lively, magna cum laude, Anthony Merkel, Anthony Merriman, Stuart Jackson, Daniel King, Andrea Cobran, magna cum laude, Lauren Ishmael, Zachary Lamb, magna cum laude, Jeremiah Lewis, Justin Lunsford, Amanda Kuhn, Allison Grimes, Matt Michalowski, magna cum laude, Patrick Mullen, Sean Cady, cum laude, Kenton Baker, Zachary Vorel, Kylie Becker, Tyler Fitz, 
Christopher Damron, cum laude. Eric Lindemann. Donald No. Philip Powers. Adam Rhymes. Danielle Meyer. Justin Ratcliffe. James Roman Sr., magna cum laude. Julie Rossman. Jeffrey Menyard. Jessica Patterson. Jacqueline Mullins. Robert William Schmidt. Grant Poison, summa cum laude. Derek Miracle, George Warren, Zachary Reidner, Daniel Riley, Hannah Spencer, Spencer Stovall. Michael Sturm, Tyler Stein, Joseph Spicer, Rex Scott, Julian White, William Bevel, Jessica Warren, Christina Begley, Gregory Dunn, Adam Lang, Brendan Gregory, Brendan Kinsella, cum laude, Kyle Silvers, Aaron Sisko, Christopher Morell. Got to get them to write bigger next time. This is killing me. Dustin North Cum Laude. Dorissa Dotson. Jennifer Gross Cum Laude. Thomas Crowder. Dustin Riddle. Jenny Lucas, Say last name. Joseph Filiatru, Lisa Satterley Smythe, Maria Aubrey, Brittany Markham, Jonathan Reed, Zachary Ost, cum laude. Hillary and Wilson Yu. Tyler Taylor. Brandon Terrell. Thomas Taylor. Christopher Wilkinson. Winston Shelton. Elisha Reynolds, Barbara Michelle Heinrich, Catherine Lynn Stave, Icho Rochiba Vance, Joseph Vance, cum laude, Ryan Villarino. Cum laude. Joseph Winsniski, cum laude. Ryan Woody. Corey Cecil, cum laude. Andrew Barnett, cum laude. 
Andrew Rowe. Nathan Parker. Timothy Linhart. Trevor Collier. Michael Stannis. Rolando Thacker. Elizabeth Wheeler. Don Rayburn, cum laude. Thaisha Souders. Joshua Smith. Kevin Gluckert. Benjamin Dagenhart. Don Risha Talbot. Travis Brown. Lauren Duhan, magna cum laude. Tuesday Benedict. Stephen Davis, magna cum laude. Alan Hill, with distinction, cum laude. Joey Taylor. Maltel Alcalde. Ali Alcalde. Mohammed Alzimam. Moshari Alcalde. Harmad Alcalde. Mohammed Alcalde. Nayi Alcalde. Julissa Bryant, Brianna Shaw, Devana Osborne, Associate of Science in Paramedicine, Patricia Sanders, College of Justice and Safety, Associate of Science in Paramedicine, Ravel Moore Berry. Graduates, if you have not done so already, please move your tassels from right to left. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Hudnall, Professor of Military Science, will now issue the Military Oath of Office to second lieutenants Kelsey Brewer, Corey Lane, Adam Wren, Cody Sparks, and Nicholas Ulrey. At this time, would the parents of our commissionees and all my fellow veterans please stand and remain standing for the oath of office. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. Having been appointed an officer in the Army of the United States, in the grade of second lieutenant, do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, 
that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations, lieutenants. Alumni are very important in the life of a university, and we are very fortunate at Eastern to have the loyal support of more than 135,000 graduates. I will now present Tanya Tarvin Crum, president of our International Alumni Association, and ask her to offer greetings to our newest alumni. Thank you, President Whitlock. This morning, graduates, you are joining a very special group of individuals, men and women from all over the world who have brought great honor to this institution by distinguishing themselves in their careers and in their communities. Much like President Whitlock, who has honored our institution with his dedication and leadership. In your time here at EKU, I hope that in addition to your academics, you have learned the importance of service. It is my hope that as you go into your communities and into the workforce, that you will give back with acts of service, and that when you're settled into your career, consider giving of your time to Eastern Kentucky University. Being a graduate of this institution gives me great pride, and I'm always sharing about the campus beautiful. I hope that you will find the opportunities to share with others about your experiences here. Now, spring 2013 graduates, would you please stand? By virtue of the degree conferred upon you by the faculty and Board of Regents of Eastern Kentucky University, I hereby declare you to be members of the Eastern Kentucky University International Alumni Association with all the rights and privileges of membership. Congratulations and welcome. You may be seated. I want to uh, thank our musicians for this ceremony, uh, Dr. Joyce Wolf and Dr. Richard Crosby, both of our outstanding music faculty. Uh, our banner bearers were Gina Perdue for the Graduate School, Christopher James Troutman for the College of Health Sciences, and Patricia Sanders for the College of Justice and, Sa and Safety. Our sign language interpreters for the deaf and hard of hearing are Kiara Beck and Tammy Cantrell. Graduates, I call to your attention and commend to your later reading the charge to the graduating class, which constitutes the last page in your commencement program. That was written in 1960 by Dr. Robert R. Martin, the sixth president of Eastern Kentucky University and the first Eastern graduate to ever serve as president. Now, please indulge me a moment as I speak to my new brothers and sisters. Over the coming months and years, you will come to know what I and more than 135,000 EKU graduates have learned. As you collaborate with and compete against graduates from other institutions, including those with name brands, you will realize your Eastern education has not left you shortchanged. Our outstanding faculty takes great pride in educating critical and creative thinkers who can communicate. And to hear that repeated to us today by one of our students shows that it must be taking. Those abilities combined with your discipline-specific backgrounds have prepared you for leadership, 
remember, this is Eastern Kentucky University, and you can get there from here. Now, for one last time, let's recognize with a hearty plan, a round of applause Eastern Kentucky University's newest graduates. Please stand now for the alma mater, led by Drs. Wolf and Crosby, followed by the recessional. As the recessional begins, please remain standing until the platform party has left the arena floor.